judge for it. You should, I, you prepared for I, that I, I've already started the stream. Oh, let me make sure all my porn tabs are closed. Oh, oh damn. Oh, oh, darn. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Huh. Jay, did you just stream that? Oh, uh, no. My I, whole I, career is ruined. No. I, I'm just going to go right into the intro. Okay, do it. Jay Nobody. and Jerry do things and talk about things and do things for the people and the things with the number at the bottom. How many people are watching, Jay? Can you say it? There, it says four. Oh. <laughs> uh, you, know, you know what? You and I are going to have to set aside some time and actually come up with some lyrics and record an intro song. We should, we should do like a rap song where I record half it here and you do it there and then I give you all the clips and then just jump cut it back and forth like we're in the same room rapping. That would be, that'd be pretty cool. Well, then we'll have to use both of our green screens and we could do it. We could totally. You see, I got my green screen deployed back here. Yeah, mine's totally been folded up. Order, right? Mine's know? been folded up for a year and a half. I wonder how many people were already ready to type "lay" and it's already going. I see some people are saying "lay" and the intro's already going. What is wrong with these people? Every, actually, it's a good thing you started a minute early because it probably did start streaming on time because of that. Yeah. The delay. The delay, hey. Jay. So as you guys can see, I've got the good mic going. Um, last. Last week, I, I will go ahead and give Microsoft a small apology. I was blaming Windows 8, uh, but okay, it's partly Windows' fault and partly my fault. Jerry, you remember you remember when you're running your mic, your powered mic there. Sometimes you have to put your mic level down to like five. Yes. Okay. I was used to having to do that on Windows 7. Windows 8, for some reason, does not have the boost mic boost built in for the USB device. So it demanded that the power or the level go up to like 75 for it to hear me. The problem was it introduced all this massive buzzing. Well, I was the guy who ran my XLR cable right along all of my power cables for all three monitors, for the computer. Yeah. Rookie mistake, dude. Rookie mistake. You know what? You should have just had a mo If you had a monster cable, this wouldn't have happened. You know, I thought about that, and I did. I did buy the cheapy XLR cable when I when I bought this one, so it probably doesn't even have any shielding on there oh, whatsoever. It's like bouncy. Yeah, no, those. I was joking. Monster cables are such a fucking rip off. Oh my god. I mean, they do have shielded cables and such, but hey, guys, we do have some topics we're going to talk about today, but we haven't gone as far as to be like we're going to outline them and stuff. Well, we thought the outline. Well, no, no, let's let's make it sound all professional. Like we didn't want to outline them because we thought that it would it would ruin the delivery. Basically, oh, what happened was yeah. when we had Luke on the show, he was like, hey, you guys are totally copying my outline. What gives? <laughs> <laughs> you... Yeah, he actually threatened to sue us if we kept using it. Actually, he so. threatened that Linus threatened to sue us is what happened. Oh, that was it. That's right. Yeah. Linus Luke, Luke's a, a nice guy. He would never do that. So. He, he would never sue us. And, and he's a true Canadian. And we yeah. all know Linus isn't a true Canadian. Canadian. He's not. He's not. <laughs> Linus isn't, isn't full-blooded Canadian. Canadian. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Canada, man, heart felt going out to everybody up there. Sorry to be dealing with that shit. That is some bullshit. I just, I saw that breaking news while I was watching something last night on TV. It popped I was at the on, gym. I was at the gym. And I was like, holy shit. Like at first I didn't know it was Canada because they kept talking about parliament. I thought that they were talking about like the, the UK. UK. Yeah. But then I could tell that it, you know, I don't know. People look nicer. So, you know, <laughs> so I figured it was Canada. People look nicer. They, 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 just, they just look nicer. But no, the coverage on that. Holy shit. Yeah. Like, how many cameras were on that like instantly every there was a there was a lot of like cell phone camera footage happening from inside there yeah canadians are quick to bust out their cell phones and take some footage see if that was america everybody would just like ran out like nobody thought, would like stuck but i thought that kind of stuff didn't happen in canada because pot was legal and everyone's like what's up man nah you no know, thing like nobody Watch gets mad at probably, each other it'll probably come out next week that it was like an american or something he got lost and stumbled across the border yeah well it's, like horrible probably Speaking of guns, I got my sight. Yay! <laughs> I, I just figured I <laughs> that's probably the worst segue in all of Tech Talk history. That probably was. And yeah. all, all of our U we we've just chased off all of our UK fans. They all just they all just left. I'm just kidding. I, They're all sleeping I love, right now. I love the UK. They'd love me more if I actually cared about football. <laughs> actually, UK is. I called it football. Part. I want to say you did. You did. I noticed that, and I didn't I, think about the the Stewie head shaped ball. So yes, that worked. it is excellent. Uh, no, what uh, you know? What's funny is the amount of people who follow me in the UK who get mad when I say Z. They're like, "It's not Z, it's Z." Like Z is my cousin's name. His name is Zedekiah. We call him Z. I can't. Doesn't work like Dude, that. Dude, I got disappointed because like one of my Canadian friends, and he became my friend because he was a coworker before I got laid off at Microsoft, and uh, he came down from Canada, and I kept waiting. I was like, "Come on, say a boat, say a boat, say a boat," and he like went out of his way to make sure he never said it and he'd always catch himself before he did it and before he said Zed. And I was like, dude, you don't understand. I want to hear that. 
like don't don't try to blend in i want full-on canadian here there's a there's a guy who works at my company he's from the uk i've known him for about five years now and every time he talks i'm like dude you could be saying some off the wall shit right now and i'd believe every word you're saying because you sound so smart when you say it yeah i know right those accents <laughs> Woo. uh let's see uh red red avenger in chat said pot is not legal here yeah oh, i see that i think of washington well, no, I, I That's was, where I am, guys. No, I, it was actually a little joke on the movie um, Super Troopers. Remember how they all were trying to get across the border to go smoke yep. reefer? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yep. I was talking about Super Troopers. Anyway, uh, so we got a couple of Apple topics, and I think people are going to enjoy this because these, these are not fun topics. These are not topics like, yay, Apple, yay. Uh, so Apple's in hot water again for now two different reasons. Number one, you guys know Apple's 8 point, iOS 8.1 dropped, and I did forgot to mute my phone. Apple's- <laughs> Dropped um, is the correct word for it. Yeah, it, it dropped, hold on, I already gotta ban some people. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta love how this goes. All right, All right just go so, ahead and take them out. Um, and I was happy about that, because it fixed my Wi-Fi problems I was having. Like for the last month, I haven't been able to use Wi-Fi because web authentication on Windows 8 was broken. So if you had web authentication and not WPA2, your phone would not connect to Wi-Fi, and it would, you, if it did, you got like 0.1 megabit. I think I showed you that. It was yeah. like something really stupid. So that's fixed now in 8.1, and they launched Apple Pay. Well, for some reason, I guess Bank of America and Apple Pay were just double charging people on all of their purchases. Double charging. I, I think they probably thought that people wouldn't notice since they could afford an Apple product. Like they, they figured anybody that buys an Apple product probably doesn't check their bank account ever. Well, the news said that Bank of America came out and did a public apology. I guess my qu and that they refunded the money. Well, one, you better freaking refund the money. I know. Sorry, guys. We're gonna go ahead and just hang on to that. <laughs> Number two, how do you then account for like people who may have gotten overdraft charges or people whose like rent checks bounced or something? Granted, you know, I would hope people aren't spending a ton of money if they're that close to the end of their limits. Yeah. But it's like okay, you know, you bought this. You bought this four hundred dollar TV because your your TV broke. You went and bought a cheap TV at Best Buy on sale. It's four hundred bucks. You had just yep. enough for your TV and your rent until payday, and they double charge you for the TV. Your rent check bounces. Then you incur overdraft fees. You incur late fees on your rent. I wonder how Bank of America is going to handle that. It's going to be just as much of a nightmare as when Microsoft was flagging everybody's channels a couple weeks ago. Uh, yeah, but the that fallout did... for that is just as bad. Like only some people got expedited. There was literally thousands of people that that had to like fight their way still to get those flags lifted and everything. And then they're still have disabled shit on their channels. So it's the same thing. There's so many edge cases. It's going to literally take, you know, forever for them to sort it all out. Yeah, I, I get that. Um, real quick, I'll just go ahead and address this. There's a lot of people asking me what site it is I got from my AR. Um, it is a Vortex Optics uh, Spitfire. This is the 1X um, red dot site, red dot green dot site. So, so I mean, it's, it's 300 bucks. It was not like an EOTech or anything like that, but I don't know. We'll see. If I like it, I'll keep it. I don't know. It's a 30 millimeter uh, uh, optical with a two dot or two MOA, 60 MOA circle and 120 MOA circle around that, but it's an etched reticle. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, we're not going to turn it into gun talk. Not but, gun uh, talk tonight, folks. No gun talk tonight anymore. Jay, bad. You're bad, Jay. Bad. What? What? Although it's pretty, it's pretty badass sight. I want to see the rest terrible of it. Terrible people do terrible things, not just the weapons they use. Anyway, yep. um, so the other thing Apple's also in the news for is apparently the new Mac Mini, right? That that launched. Oh my god, yeah. And you know, one of the things people like to do is they'd like to buy the base model, like whether it be MacBook Pro or MacBook, Mac Mini, and then they'll upgrade it. Well, apparently they are soldering the DIMMs into the DIMM slots. They're standard, yep. they're standard DIMMs, so DIMMs, right? And they're soldering them into place so that you cannot upgrade the Mac Mini. Which is the stupid. Now, I can understand if they were actually putting like super high speed proprietary DRAM directly onto the board or something like that. Right. But the fact that they're just like, hmm, somebody could pull this out and put a bigger one in without paying us money. So we're just going to, you know, it's like, come on. You know what's funny though is really? is Apple, Apple for the long I forgot to even tw tweet out the stream. Apple um You almost said twat out the stream. I forgot to twat out the stream. I forgot stream. to twat out the stream again, damn it. Um, one of the things the one of the things Apple was known for that was like come into the genius bar and let us upgrade your stuff. So they even kind of blocked their own upgrade of you know capabilities. And there was a lot of people who would who would do that because I don't know, I I kind of feel that a lot of people who buy Mac wouldn't also be looking to upgrade it. The thing is, is a memory upgrade is such a simple operation, it's a pretty hard thing to fuck up. I'm not saying you can't fuck it up. You can. 
but it's a it's a pretty as far as upgrades go that's one of the easiest ones because you're not dealing with any real soft pins or anything like that the slot is keyed so it can only go in one way i mean they must have had a, you know what i wonder if this is a response to people breaking the slot like because i read online that a lot of people that were doing the dram upgrades with the double stack dims mm -hmm. were actually breaking the oh they're slot. putting it, they, or they're putting it in the top one and pushing it down too hard exactly and it was like snapping it was like literally breaking the slot because when i did my upgrade video on how to upgrade the mac pro memory i got a whole influx of comments on that video saying you need to be really careful installing those because you can break the slots like lots of people are having problems and it wasn't just one comment it was like dozens of them people were like oh shit be careful because apparently i wasn't being that careful when i was like shove it in you know <laughs> and that's but, how uh, xander came about <laughs> and that's how xander came about exactly <laughs> yeah, he's got a lot of memory too hey mrs uh, barclays hold on i'm gonna shove it in real quick okay <laughs> oh, you gotta baby now. really quick ow ow i'm calling the cops no i'm just kidding that never happened that never happened <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry but when you go on a date with your wife and involves a rag and chloroform there's a problem it does there's a problem <laughs> but what if that's it, what she's into oh my god this whole thing just went totally sideways didn't it yeah well somebody <laughs> mentioned twatter and that's an entirely different type of social media we went from twatter to chloroform in our wives jay we still got it buddy uh, i don't have anything to drink i i so I, I had to run down to Gigabyte, and then I just got back. Like, what? You were even met, you were even Skyping me, like, hey, so... Uh, yeah, run down to Gigabyte? How do you run down to Gigabyte? Gigabyte's like only... Place? Their headquarters. Wait, you got Gigabyte headquarters down there? Yeah, it's right next to Newegg. Dude, you're so lucky. You're seriously, like, within walking distance of everybody. Everybody's down here, except for Corsair and Asus. They're, like, up in the Bay Area. All I've got up here is, like, an Intel side office. A side That's office? It. It's like what does it's, that it's mean? Not even the, it's not the, it's like it's like an office where they just put strategically place a couple people so they can answer phones and say, "Oh, call our real office down by Jay's house." Yeah. Do um, you think they're in Oregon? Isn't isn't Intel based in Oregon? I have. I'll be honest. I have no idea. I think they are because I remember a guy who used to work at Microsoft who uh, flew. He literally commuted to the Redmond campus in in Washington three times a week in his Cessna. I was he literally say, bought a Cessna airplane so that he could commute three times a week to the Redmond campus. I was going to be a smart ass and say, what, does he get in his private jet? No, he gets in his private Cessna. His private Cessna, because see, Cessnas are for poor people, okay? That's what it sounds Dude, like was, when you fly I was Cessna. watching a show the other day on Alaska, though, where, the, you know, in Alaska, like, everybody has an airplane, like cars. Well, yeah, like, because there's here. a lot of those villages on islands with no way on or off. But the funny thing is, you come down here and you look at like you know airplane trader. I'm guessing that's the name of the magazine. <laughs> you know, it's like auto trader. Airplane, airplane trader. There, no, there is there is aircraft trader. Yeah, I know, but there's so. But you look in there and it's like, okay, airplane barely works, needs to be completely rebuilt, built in the 70s, all the interiors gone, missing a wheel, twenty seven thousand dollars. But these are these are like RTF ready to fly. Exactly, but the, <laughs> but you go you go up to Alaska or whatever, and you've got these people that are driving like a truck, missing a wheel, the bed's ripped off and it's rusted through, and they've got like a seaplane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, is it just cheaper up there? Like, can you just go up there and buy a seaplane for like four hundred dollars and like two salmon? You're probably watching all the same shows I was. Like, um, uh, I like to watch the Alaska State Troopers, and they're always like, "Oh, we got to go on this call." They like hop in their plane, yeah. They fly for an hour and a half to a shooting call, and it's like, uh, and it's usually some drunk uh, Native American up there who like got mad and shot a gun into the air, but the the state troopers still have to come out. <laughs> it's 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 i could not if i were to be a cop i don't think i could be a cop up there in alaska because it everything just, takes forever up there like well, it's not oh, only that it's, it's, a not, UConn, like, man? it's oh, not only I, that you're like the only cop for like 200 miles sometimes mm -hmm. well it's like yukon men they have a uh, their little town what is it tenanuk or whatever they've got like a medical center that's got like one bay and two employees mm -hmm. and if you need emergency care they just stabilize you for the hour it takes for a plane to come up from anchorage and like they stuff you in a plane and then fly you like an hour back to the hospital. So it's like, if you move to that town, you better you better never have anything wrong with you that can kill you within two hours. Like you get a snake bite or something, you're screwed. Yeah, you're just screwed. Uh, um, Rusty Sponge Gaming. I have a feeling he said this just because he wants a attention. I don't know if he wants give him a some response. Attention, Jay. No, give what him his question? He says, is the 970 or 980 better than the 770 GTX Ti? That no, I can't even answer that. The 770 is way better. And no, he said, but he said 770 Ti. That doesn't even exist. That's not a real thing. It might exist. You don't know. No, it doesn't. The, know the 760 Ti I mean. does, but it's OEM only. So, so tell me this: What does the Ti mean, anyways? Because I noticed that, like, what's I think it mean, I think it's the tits edition. The tits. It's like it's like so awesome. It's like tits. Yeah. Like like you have to. You can't even say the last T. You're just like, oh, that thing is so tits. <laughs> 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 I don't, I'll be honest. I don't know. I've I thought about asking them, but I was just like, I really don't care. Hashtag you know. GTX 980 tits edition. <laughs> oh my! Goodness. I like it. I like it. Nvidia, send me some graphics cards. Oh my god. 
Nvidia doesn't send me my cards. I know. Digital Storm, send me some cards. Come on. Actually, no, send me a whole computer. I'm going to do that every episode of Tech Talk for the rest of our lives. I'm just going to beg Digital Storm to send me a computer. I guess that means you assume they're in here every week, but they kind of have been. Huh? They are. They Why? are. Hey. Why? Are they spying on you? They are. Oh, my goodness. What were the other topics I wrote you earlier? I don't remember now. <laughs> okay, we talked about the memory, right? Oh, right. yeah. How about how about uh, the threats against God, a.k.a. Gaben? Gaben. All hell. All well, hell, Gaben. Pray to Gaben. All right, so what we learned about this was uh, pretty much if you if you want your game expedited on Steam, the best thing not to do is the threat in the live of Gabe Newall. Because if you do, you will get kicked off Steam forever and ever and ever. My and he's probably dead somewhere in a ditch. I'm pretty sure Gabe probably sent like some people to take him out. Well, I was talking about this with Josh from Fractal uh, the other night when we were bowling and drinking beer out of our plastic cups. Uh, you guys you know, are like friends, BFFs forever. And then we went and we played Mario Kart at the arcade. So anyway, uh, oh, and I won. I won a race, by the way. So anyway, uh, you got to ask yourself, one, do you really think Gabe knew all was like, oh, you know what? I have so much things to do. But before I do that, I should probably go and ruin this guy's life real quick. Hold on. Exactly. BRB. <laughs> and you know, I mean, I'm sorry. It was it was some text, and you know, I, I'm sure if he sent an email to his to the representative handling, you know, his account rep for Steam, it probably could have gotten resolved fairly quickly. But instead, you don't jump on social media and start blasting away, and then on top of that, be like, "Oh, okay, um, Gaben's dead. He's." I'm I like kill how him. well it escalated too. Oh my god, it's like the dude's like, "Oh, fucking Steam drops the ball again. Oh, fuck you." Next comment. I will kill you, Gabe Newall. You will die, or something like that. All in caps, no smiley faces, no <laughs> hashtags. Like, dude just went. I, I mean, I would have loved to have seen the guy's like facial expression when he was typing that. It's probably like this. <laughs> no, but, 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 but in all reality, how pissed off do you have to be? Because you don't. It's just like that. You don't joke about killing the president. You don't joke. There's certain things you don't joke about because even if they're completely out of context and obviously a joke, people still have to respond in kind. People want to know. Threats are one of those. People want to know what I'm like when I'm drunk. Did you? Did you and I drink when you were down here? I don't. Remember. We did, but we didn't drink a lot. We were just drinking a little fireball in your cave. We got a little buzzed, but we didn't. Oh get yeah, it. that's why uh, we were live streaming. Yeah, we were live streaming. Just um, and so that live stream got pretty funny too, if I recall. It, it, well, because we were playing with the the morphing effect on the camera. Oh, I remember like, that. What's Both. up, guys? Both. You see my big Both. arm? <laughs> <laughs> I can do that without the cam, dude. <laughs> No, somebody asked, I wonder what Jay is like drunk. You know what's funny? Me drunk is kind of like Jerry sober. It is. It is. We actually met. Like, like if Jay just started drinking and I did nothing, we'd meet in the middle at some point. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, I, do get, I do get pretty giggly and sweaty when I drink, though. Dude, why is everybody in chat talking about Ebola? I don't know. Like, more, more people die from, like, the flu than Ebola right now. So, but, but, they're, Ebola, they're but Ebola was, like, like an exotic virus. It is pretty exotic. I, I would have done a video about Ebola, but I was afraid it would go viral. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> oh, 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 I, 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 I copied a recycled joke that's been around about 18 million times already. Let's be honest. Everything's recycled nowadays. Like e Even like when I come up with something, I'm like, oh, man, that's really clever. And I post it. Somebody's like, I've already seen it. Simpsons have done it. Simpsons already did it. Spurn, oh, Spurn of Humanity says, Gaben is a joke. What has he done for me? Reduce prices on indies? Pfft. I know, right? Until we get Half-Life 3, Gaben is a joke. Maybe that death threat was like, if we read between the lines, maybe Half-Life 3 is confirmed. Maybe the reason his game oh, got wasn't fucked it, up in wasn't the marketplace it, is because Half-Life was taking its spot. Wasn't, that his, wasn't it his third tweet that was the death threat? The third It one? was. It, like, and it ramped up exponentially. Like The first one was just like, I'm fucking irritated with Steam. The second one was like, rah, 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 Steam. And then the third one was like, <laughs> you will die. I will kill you. Or you Especially will be with all the shit going on with Gamergate and stuff like that and people death threats and stuff. Like, now is not the time to be threatening important people's lives. So, so last week, last week a viewer, I forget his name, said that apparently we are way off on what Gamergate really is. That Gamergate was something that was already happening, which I guess a couple of feminist um, gamer um, journalists took it to a point to where they could turn it into a sexism thing. But apparently... Gamergate is something that should not be talked about publicly. I don't. Oh, I'll be honest. Like I don't know. Fight Club. I don't. I guess you. All, all I know about it is that it was all started with one particular lady who was in a relationship with some guy that made a game, and she happened to be like a prominent reviewer or something like that. She was the person that writes like the reviews, and she basically gave him a favorable review because she was in a relationship with him. 
And somehow that escalated into the let's go but, attack every single female gamer and personality but on the I See, again, this is all allegedly. We're like Fox News now at this point. The, well, um, yeah, we're, that, I think that's an accurate <laughs> definition. We, we're, we're in Fox News. Well, I heard, I heard this guy once. Seriously. I heard this guy talking on his phone in the shit stall next to me, so it must be true. Uh, that's how Fox does news. So uh, apparently she cheated on her boyfriend to get that that whole like step up. I don't know. That's apparently why all of a sudden like everybody jumped on his side and was attacking her. I don't know. I mean, and, it sounded like the fundamental base level argument was like, okay, let's just stop having you know bad journalism based on relationships. It goes both ways. That's the thing I didn't that. get is how it got centered on women. It's like I'm sure that there's guys out there too using their relationship with their wife that works at EA you to like cannot. You know, Get rid of the useless outlets. What would we do without E Entertainment, Jerry? Yeah. Where yeah. would we be would we without, without knowing what they wore on the red carpet? Yes, yes. Oh my like God! The tabloids I, I, at the grocery store. How? Where would you be during that five minutes while you're waiting for that lady in front dude, of you to go through her 800 cans of cat food if you did, couldn't see that like Tory Spelling was an alien? Dude, Bat Boy is real. I Tell remember you. Bat Boy Bat from Boy? my childhood. Yeah. No shit, I remember With the teeth Bat and the bald yeah. head. No, I remember that picture. And it was funny too because it was totally a hack job. They didn't even try to make it even look remotely realistic, which is what made it even funnier. Yeah, I still like the uh, half dog, half boy. That was a good one too. And they're never in color; they're always black and white. You're like, when's the last time newspapers needed to print in black and white? Yet here's this black and white magazine. The guy was like, "Dude, this is the most horrible fucking Photoshop I've ever seen. Go back and fix it." And he's like, "Desaturate, none." <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do the whole magazine in black and white to cover up all of our, yeah, our dude, poor we got photoshops. Yeah, dude, we got a of black ink. It was, it was cheap on eBay this week. Uh, I see some people... Uh, okay, I saw someone ask, I, I didn't see your name, sorry, if the X99 was worth it for gamers. No, I don't. No. I don't no, think it's all, worth All I hear it. is Jay bitch about it day in and day out. So okay, I do want to say this, because a lot of people were asking me, like, Jay, how'd you fix your 780 problems you were having with the three-way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said three-way. So, yeah. So it happened again last night with the 980s. I was going to do some benchmarking. I was like, I'm going to get ready to do my, um, my 980 three-way video on the Skunk Works. People want to know how the performance is. And then all of a sudden, shit went through the floor on performance. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Okay, so I, I hopped on, I, I not hopped on the phone, but I was SMSing back and forth with Jacob at EVGA, who in turn talked to Vince uh, Kingpin, you know, who's a world, world famous overclocker. Apparently, you know what the problem is? Uh, there's some there's some bug in X99, and it's not just it's not just the EVJ boards. Apparently, this is happening all over the place, where if you leave your PCI generation set to auto in the BIOS, at some point with three-way SLI and the X99 and overclocking, the PCI um, lanes become saturated, and they will bottleneck. They'll go down to like a Gen One. Mm. So you have to actually go into the BIOS and turn on Gen Three PCI logic, and then everything goes goes fine. So if you guys are dealing with the problem I was having where <clears throat> SLI, two-way, three-way, or four-way SLI figures are just not scaling at all, <laughs> check, hey. check, check Dude, the... Uh, I haven't heard four-way in a while. I was like, I don't know. Oh, that's only in, that's only in, in France. So yeah. Anyway, um, go into your BIOS and check your PCI Express settings and make sure they're manually set to Gen 3 and not about... Um, or not on auto. That was my problem. The moment I did that, all my scores went through the roof. <clears throat> and now I'm working on trying to break thirty thousand on the on the um, fire strike score, and I can't quite get it. Just to give us a little contrast there, what was the what was the fire strike score on say your seven eighties? Uh, twenty three thousand. Twenty three thousand. So huh. I'm, I'm it about. Doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's <clears throat> that much of a boost, all things considering. Do you know how much how much power it takes to get seven thousand more in that range already when you're in that score? That's like how much horsepower does it take to go from one hundred and ninety five miles per hour to two hundred miles per hour? Oh, I didn't realize it wasn't linear. It's not. It actually <laughs> no, falls off. Okay. It's not linear at all. All right, so you got the Bugatti Veyron cards going there. I got you. Pretty much. I'm just happy that I'm beating out four way Titans. <laughs> Uh, Nick Hill, uh, Tequani says, Jerry, <laughs> what did you sue the green screen for? Sexual harassment. <laughs> <laughs> Gang green. It, 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 it tried to touch me. Um, no, actually, the green screen was used for some footage that I shot yesterday for a friend's uh, zombie kill of the week video that he's working on. He actually went to school to learn after effects and all that stuff and like produce movies and videos and stuff. So he wants to do a little series and I was helping him out with it. That is too funny. So I'm assuming he meant to say so. What did you sue yeah, it for? Yeah, use. No, no. What did you What did you use it for? Oh. So what did you sue it for? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Oh I yeah. Because it, it wasn't blue enough. 
Ooh, that was a horrible face. Oh my god, I saw that. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going. I don't know why Twitter.com for some reason doesn't update notifications anymore. And I know it's not just me. No, I have all kinds of problems with it. Like the other day, I had it doing some weird thing. We're down at the bottom. The little the little uh, JavaScript Ajax thing kept popping up, saying, "Oh, you got a message from somebody. You got a message from somebody." But it never updated the main. Yeah, the main doesn't. The main is an update for some reason. Yeah, like I've, I got an up. Let's see, Torn TV favorited and retweeted the link to tonight's show. Before that, Kitty liked the show. Paul, I'm apropos liked the show. And then my next mention after that is 15 hours earlier. Oh my God, Drew Walden just tweeted three three way plus 380 tits edition equals good times. I'm I'm favorite in that one. All it's missing is some whiskey. All this mission is a little fireball. You know what I'm saying? I still have some of that fireball in the fridge. Ooh, that's a good one. On a scale, <laughs> Ulysses Wolfgang <laughs> says, on a scale of 1 to 10, true or false? <laughs> it's a binary joke. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, um, so, hy- Hypothetical Pizza is asking me when my build vlog is coming out. Uh, sorry if you already said it. Just got here. I'm assuming he's asking about the 980s. I'm going to try and yeah. shoot it. I've already shot like the B-roll and stuff of it being installed. I didn't do like a vlog style. Um, this is just a graphics card swap and performance update, so it's not going to be like a full-on vlog. I just haven't decided how I want to do it. I may not even shoot that tonight, um, so I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I was so freaking busy today. I have not had much time to think about making a video, and everybody is being mean lately. So I know I don't what's up wanna... with the uptrend in meanness. I've noticed that too. Jay and I were both talking about that today. Like people are being extra negative in comments lately. Yeah, like, and it's, it kind of sucks. I hate to even say it, but when the when there's a lot of negative comments, I mean, the positive comments haven't gone away, but when the negative comments yeah. spike, it doesn't motivate us. You think it's a weather change? Like maybe just it's starting to get gloomy going in the no, winter? No, I just think... like, oh, I'm going to go attack fat people on the no, internet? No, you know what's happening right now is pe- I think people are starting to get stressed for their, for their fall midterms, and so they're stressing out, and so they're going online and they're venting, and they're just taking it out on people whatever because i mean look at look at the date it is it is fall midterms right now that's true that's true a bunch of angry people on the internet just looking for somebody to kick square in the balls jay please cover your opinion on ebola recently 17 17 kindergartners tested positive for ebola in texas i think that's i think that's terrible but i think it's also hard to determine um i don't know i don't know is that is that for real though like i don't know look it up if 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 that's abs- if that's actually true, then I changed my earlier stance on Ebola. It's a big fucking deal if that's happening. Well, oh I don't God. know. The CDC seems to say it's under control. It's not a, an epidemic, but people were like, Shh, "Bullshit! It is too an epidemic." I don't know. Well, I just did a search for for Ebola, and I don't see anything other than the two nurses that got it. Jay, are you still running Windows Eight? I sure am. Um, I was running the newest Nvidia drivers last night when I was trying to troubleshoot the problems I was having with the three ways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's always going to be a little anyway um and i reverted back to 344.11 pre.16 to try and work out my issues and uh my therapist says that my issues are here to stay but but i digress um i have not run the newest drivers yet either so i still have the issue where i cannot have a skype call with jerry and capture it while i have surround enabled i still cannot capture gameplay and stream for you guys when i have surround enabled and who did you blame about that first jay who was your first blame? Oh, Windows, rightfully so. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it is somebody, false. Somebody asked about uh, if I'm still liking the One Plus One. Okay, so I got mixed feelings on this thing now. Uh-oh. I went to Oregon. No, I like the phone. I like the phone. I love Android. Oregon Trail. It's the camera. Oh. The cam. When I was when I was at uh, Retro Gaming Expo and I was walking around taking pictures. The time it takes between you hit the button and it takes the picture is like a second or two. Yeah. And then it's blurry unless you hold it super, super still in low light. So I pulled out my iPhone. I literally had my iPhone 5 in my pocket with me down there, just not at, you know, just using the Wi Fi tethering stuff. And I was like, click, 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 like doing the side by side. And it's like every single picture I took with the iPhone. From the second I hit the button, the picture was good. It was sharp. It wasn't noisy. I, that, and I just couldn't get a good picture with this thing. But I think that, that, I think I have a couple of theories about that if you want to hear. I do. Um, one, the iPhone 6 camera is phenomenal, I have to say. Um, so is the new Samsung camera as well. Um, I think maybe because OnePlus is not getting it, it, its first-gen hardware, it was a startup, I think they're maybe not getting sourced the high-end cameras because a lot of the other manufacturers are eating them up. But the sensor in the OnePlus One is like a high-end 13-megapixel Sony sensor. I think it's the optics that are fucked up. 
Mm, if it's taking that long to snap the picture, then then it's going to be entirely well, that's a software. Soft, that's a software issue. Yeah, no, no, I agree with that. I think that it's actually a software issue with uh, Cyanogen as far as that. But still, I just could not get a good picture. Like I was having to take most of my pictures three to four times to get a sharp one, like to get it held right, not have people walk in front of me and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's like with the iPhone, it's like I just hold, even on a 5S, I just hold the button down and go, and every single one of them is like sharp. Carl Henkel saying that the OnePlus now has raw support, but I would have to imagine that if it's having that problem taking compressed photos, it's gonna, it might take just as long to do raw, and the file size is going to be pretty big. Yeah, everybody says to, keep, to shoot the raw files, and I did, and I didn't notice a decrease in noise in the raw files. The raw files definitely mm. looked bigger uh, or looked better, but they just the, the noise was still there in low light. Was it, it was still very, slow? Very respectfully. Oh yeah, yeah, it was way slow. It was raw. Photos. Was raw slower than JPEG? Oh yeah, definitely. Mm. It's like the files are huge. They were like fifty megs or whatever. Well, no, I'm, I, I didn't. I was trying to figure out if maybe the slowness was coming from the compression state. Oh no, no, I only shot like three or four raw photos, and then when I didn't see a huge benefit to it, unless you were downloading it to Photoshop, I just put it back to its compression. Mm. But I put it at a hundred percent quality, so that could have. I didn't try doing a lower quality. Maybe the super, you know, compression I was using or whatever was causing some problems. I'll yeah. do some more testing with it, but in a nutshell, I went and did some research in the forums and stuff after I was having this problem, and a lot of people are complaining about the camera quality. Hey, Tevin so, Hunter, this is his, this is his first live talk. Welcome to the show, buddy. Welcome. Um, yeah, so John seventeen oh one is saying it lags when using RAW, but you're saying it was lagging even when using JPEG. Yeah, it was lagging even on JPEG on 100% quality. Like, here, I'll even fire it up right now and take a yeah, look. Yeah, show, show us. Take a selfie. Uh, so we're take put, a it selfie. In, put it on Instagram. Let's see it. Come on, selfie it's time. Instagram. Selfie time. And I have, I have two camera apps I tried. I tried the Google. The Google camera app actually was pretty good. Um, all right, so here we are. I'm going to spin this around. Well, I'm going to double check the straightness of my phone and see if it bent, if it bent again. All right, now let me turn off the little filters here. Beauty mode, smart scene. There we go. All right, here we go. Ready? Mm. You got to see? <laughs> wow, that's kind of creepy looking. All right, here we go. Mm. Mm. See? See that delay? Watch your push crap. button. Watch. I mean, that's a huge delay to me. I mean, it, it really is. And then like, let me go open up the pictures here. Hold on. Do, 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 do. I love the, the app, though. Like, I like it a lot better. But here, let me see open. Now, that's actually a pretty good picture, but you got to realize I got a ring light pointing at me with like a million LEDs. I don't know, let's compare the iPhone. Up. Yeah, it's like on the iPhone, it's instant from the time <laughs> you push the button. Crap, it's instant, I just, I just but took that's like. The thing is, you don't think that's important. Like when I was reviewing the phone see, for the couple days I had, I just took a lot of photos. <laughs> oh, no, on the six, the burst fire, even on the 5S, is insane. It takes like 10 or 15 photos a second. It's nuts. Oh, have you seen the burst fire in this one? It actually makes a machine gun sound. It's like. Aah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. crazy. But, but that was the problem is when I was testing it in my house for the for the week that I was using it, like I was just taking pictures of stationary objects. It wasn't until I actually got out and went to a convention where I was walking around interacting with people. Another thing was I'd always want to do a selfie with somebody. I'd open it up. I'd flip the camera out sideways and then I'd try to spin the camera around and it would kind of lag and hitch a little bit. And then I'd take the picture. And again, I'd like move, when I was pushing the button, I'd jack the camera or something like that. It just it was it was rearing its ugly head. So I think a lot of it's probably software issues that can be worked out, but the sensor does not work well in low light. Like when I was in my room, I shoot pictures in my room all the time of Xander and stuff I'm doing in my food and bed. When I was shooting pictures in there, <laughs> I'm always taking bad. pictures of my bed food. Always taking pictures of myself in my bedroom. If you know <laughs> what I'm saying? But, food. <laughs> <laughs> but that's funny. JJ is 50. Just said, Jerry, did you buff your head yet? No, I still need to buff my head. Here it is. Don't worry. It's 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 on the docket tonight to continue the buffage of my head. Oh, yeah. Here's my old camera angle. <laughs> <laughs> but in a nutshell, the One Plus One, I love it. I love Android. Like after you use Android, that's going to be the problem. If I go back to iOS for the camera and the integrated Instagram and all that stuff, because the apps are bit the Instagram app in particular is much better on iOS than it is on Android. Um, because like on Android, the thing I noticed that really pissed me off was you start recording a video in Instagram. And there's this little hitch that happens each time you hit the record button. So each clip you record in the Instagram video series, there's a slight pause and a hitch. And then if that doesn't look bad enough, the fact is when you push the button, it takes about a second and a half to two seconds for the video to start each time. So you have to like click it and then wait. And then, oh, it's going okay. Now I got to do my little bit. 
and it makes it really hard to make a cohesive video. And then it won't let you flip the camera. Once As you record if the first you made clip, cohesive videos anyway. I know, I know, but once you once you start recording, <laughs> it doesn't let you flip the camera. And these are all app problems. These are but but it's pretty obvious that Instagram is not treating Android as its is its best platform. Now, other yeah. apps, on the other hand, like the Nintendo emulators and the SNES emulator and shit, kick total ass. Like, even better than the ones I used on the on the jailbreak. Millie, Millie Borns is saying that they have a uh, OnePlus One. They have no problem with the photo quality at all, but they're not picky. Jerry's not really talking about photo quality, even though compared to the iPhone or the new Samsung or the, even the HTC, it's not yeah. on par with those. There's, He's there's talking about the delay. Problem too. There, there is a color saturation problem and a white balance problem I noticed with it too. But yeah, it's the delay that kills. It's the delay and the blur, the exposure time. Like I can go in and manually say, I want to put it like ISO 1600 or whatever. I can crank it up so it'll take a fast, non-blurry picture, but it's super noisy. The iPhone just automatically, even in low light, it just doesn't take the blurry pictures. Yeah, and that's the one I like thing that. I noticed between my iPhone 5 and the iPhone 6 is the low light pictures in this thing are freaking amazing. And and it turns out that most of the pictures I take are in low light. I mean, yeah. yeah, if you're an outdoor photographer and you've got sunlight, even on an overcast day, the OnePlus One takes a phenomenal picture. It does. And the white balance looks right, too. But as soon as I come into my room where the white balance changes, the iPhone always adjusts for it just automatically. The iPhone's like, oh, fuck, I'll figure out what the white balance is in this situation. And the OnePlus One just didn't do that. I can correct all of these things in Photoshop. I can correct the noise. I can make it sharp. I can make a brilliant picture in Photoshop with the OnePlus One. But when you just want to take a picture and post it to Instagram, which is 99% of what I do with my phone, and Twitter and Facebook and everything is those rapid from picture to social media and a couple of clicks. It, it just it, it's a better it's a better scenario on iOS. Oh my right god! I just, <clears throat> I just got on Twitter for the first time in a while. Your new profile pic is a little disturbing. I know, isn't it? I've I've had a couple of complaints. I'm assuming on the I'm assuming on November first it'll change. Yes, it will. Okay. It will go back, folks. It just somebody <laughs> somebody went to uh, make me a zombie dot com or something like I that. I thought it was a picture. troll account at first. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably like scaring everybody away with that, but what are you going to do? I thought it was a troll account. I um, admit, though, it's a pretty neat looking picture for just having some random app on a web page generate it. Biohazard Gaming PC is asking what drivers I'm running on my 780s. I'm not. I'm running my 980s now. The 780s are pretty much gone and spoken for. I didn't, I didn't keep those. Um, and no, I didn't send them to Jerry. Jerry can finagle his own cards, can't you, sir? So he's not even listening. I, no, 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 I can't. I'm looking up this Ebola thing. Somebody told me what to search for. Oh, okay. Um, I want to talk about the iPhone bedding real quick. Because people have been bugging the crap out of me. Like, Jerry's your phone bent. Jerry's your phone bent. Oh, is your phone bent? Yes, my phone bent. <laughs> no, it didn't. Yes, it did. Now, Are I you want, joking? I, I, sh I, sh I was able to straighten it back out. It was only, by, it was only like three millimeters difference between one side and the other. Oh but here's God. the thing. It was bent enough to where I noticed it in the case. Now, no way. You don't have the plus, do you? Do you have the no? Small? I have the six. No, Jay, you're killing me because I'm not going to be able to get one if you actually got it to bend under like regular situation. I have no idea how it happened. Now, I can say I I did drop it a couple of times um, from waist height with the case on, landing on it on the end, right, like this. Look, look, Jerry, Jerry, look. Sorry, sorry. attention, <laughs> squirrel. Okay, look. So, like, it would come down to fall like that. The only thing I can think is that there are weak points because of the buttons on both sides, and that's yeah. where it was bent slightly. It was just a slight curvature, and I was able to just straighten it back. And then when I straightened it, the screen was like snap, and it like popped back into the body. I didn't even realize the screen was coming out on the side because of it. So it was enough of a bend to basically like unseal the edge of the screen. Well, they're not sealed anyway. They're just pressed in there. They're not even glued. Jay, that's so that's bad. So, so I so I guess bend gate's like a real thing. <laughs> Well, Lou already proved it, but they but the thing was all about the iPhone six. No, but Plus. There's, there's there's proven it, and then there's like regular everyday use. That's proof. what I wanted to just, talk about. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to talk about right now. Like everyone gives Lou a hard time. They're like, well, yeah, you grab the thing and you pull on it. Of course, it's going to bend. I don't leave my phone in my pocket when I sit down. I don't like the feeling of the big flat object in my pocket. No jokes, guys. Keep it clean. Family show. Um, <laughs> I don't drive with it in my pocket. I don't sit on it. It comes. It stays in its. I'm sorry, Jay. My mind's like, you already put my mind in the gutter. All right. Well, every now and then I do sit on it. But anyway, so I'm a very light user when it comes to the physical demands that my phones have to endure. And so it goes on the desk when I'm at work. And I was just was like, here's the thing. How did it bend? Because we're talking about just average light use. I don't, I don't know. It bent back and it hasn't gone... It hasn't curved on me again, so all I can think is it has to be one of the times I dropped it that caused it to bend. 
but I wasn't actively checking it because even Lou, like with all of his all of his force trying to bend it, he was like, "Oh, I bent like slightly," and it went back. And I thought, "Well, I'm fine. The sixes don't bend." Well. As well, you, you think see, about it, it though, even though he, he exerted quite a bit of force to bend the phone, you have to think about that static shock of yeah. your phone falling and hitting a hard surface. Yeah. You know, it's just like, what do they say? Like a woman's high heel can impart like 800 foot pounds per square inch or something on initial contact with a hard right. surface. I think it's that same type of thing. If you drop your phone, it's not unrealistic. I mean, the force isn't going to be prolonged, but it's going to be enough to, to start the problem. Now, here's the thing. Now, you've, you, you have a wife. I know you paid for her, but you have a wife. And uh, how much did you pay for your wife anyway? I did not pay for my wife. Well, okay. I kind of did. Making off, sure. I, I, I got her off the reservation. I think it was like a pack of cigarettes or something like that. Okay. Um, so <laughs> she watches this, she's going to kill me. Yeah. Don't anybody tweet the URL to this to Ms. Barnacles. Now everyone's going to tweet it. You know. No! <laughs> no! no! There's, oh, there's no way to actually get people to do what you want. But I tell them don't do it, and then they'll do it. Okay, so. It's reverse psychology. So you know when women are pregnant, they tend to drop things. It's some weird DNA change that happens in their bodies. When a woman is pregnant, they cannot hold on to anything. Everything falls out of their hands. And they shouldn't hold the baby for the first two weeks. My opinion. So anyway. the <laughs> Jay's two cents, folks. I cannot tell you how many times my wife has dropped her phone in the last couple of months. Let's put it this way. We had a conversation the other day while we were driving to dinner, I think it was. And the conversation started like this. Can you re-glue your screen on your phone? And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, my screen's coming off. <laughs> She's bent her iPhone 5 dropping it so much. And the screen is literally popping out. Now, now here's the thing. I told her, I was like, there's no way I'm going to buy you an iPhone 6 if you can't hang on to your phone. And she's like, oh, I know, but she's had it two years. I was giving her the benefit of the doubt. I'm sitting on the couch last night. She's in the entranceway, which you know is tile. You've been here. It's a tile entranceway. And I just hear, bam, crack, 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 crack. And she drops it again on the corner on the tile. I told her, I was like, I'm never buying you an iPhone, an iPhone 6. It wouldn't survive one week in her hands. It, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. It's like, yeah, I'm going to buy you the most bendable of all the phones out there. And then um, I'm gonna, I would have to buy her an OtterBox, which would then take everything physically nice about the iPhone and put it in a massive tankable like case. Hey, I just want to make it clear to everybody that the 17 people with Ebola that the person was talking about in chat was completely a hoax. I've confirmed it. Well, it that's, how, that's, how co that's how hoaxes happen. One person yep. swears it's truth, and then people don't fact check, and then you're Fox News. Yeah, so you got everybody, everybody in chat, if any one of you actually believes that story, just, just stop believing it. Stop. Jay's okay. two nerdgasms should be the name for Tech Talk. No, it's Jay's, Tech Talk. Jay's two nerdgasms. Oh God! If I wasn't already accused of "quote unquote" copying you enough as it is, I get accused of copying you all the time. On what? Everything. I, how can fat. that? How? Well, okay. <laughs> how can that be though? Right? You know what's funny? I've even thought about like there's times I want to put some corrections in a video and I want to like pop it up at the bottom of the screen. I'm like, I can't do that. If I do that. People are going to be like, you're copying Jerry. So I make sure it's like up and on the yeah. side and in a square. <laughs> it, still, it still cracks me up to this day, though. The people that I see comment on, on come and comment on my videos. And they're like, leave Jay alone. You're fucking ruining him. I mean, they leave me the most. It hasn't happened in a while, but I used to get like toxic content. When, when Jay and I first started yeah. working together, I used to get these toxic comments on my channel, like completely unrelated <laughs> to the video. They would just come to my video and just leave comments. <laughs> and be like, leave Jay alone. You're ruining his channel. You're going to destroy Jay. Stop it. You need to stay the hell away from him. And like people were like threatening me and sending me stuff. It was just so funny to see I people remember that. love Jay so much. They love him so much. They're like, it's basically like a bad girlfriend coming into the picture or something. They're like, oh no, Maha, oh no, he didn't. Maha Kali said something in chat that's so funny. I have to say it. He said, drop my pager the other day. Completely fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably serious. That's what's amazing. Oh my god. Oh, fool me once. You're not gonna fool me again. Now, now, now they're like all of all of Africa has Ebola now. I'm not gonna get fooled a second time. Okay. 17 kids. What, what, what was it? Bush, all what, of Africa what was it? Not. What was it? Bush said, and I think I'm going to quote this exactly. He's like, fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me again. Well, fools ain't going to get fooled again. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was exactly how he said it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, this is horrible. Yeah, what is happening with the chat? Why does everything Everybody's have funk? Ebola, Ebola, Ebola. No, it's I'm like, talking guys. about oh. I'm talking about all the funky characters. Like Oh yeah, the, I noticed that when I was typing it was doing it too. It's like every time you do like a uh, comma. It's a comma. Comma. Or an apostrophe. Yeah, it's it, it prints out the HTML code for it. So, oh my god, Jerry is doing a tech talk. Jerry copy J hashtag. 
<laughs> no, you know what it was is okay. Jo job opening at YouTube. Whoever whoever's working on the chat code forgot to escape. They they they're, they're doing an escape on the string when they shouldn't be. Hmm. Yeah, because nor normally you know if you for to for uh, injection attacks you basically escape all characters that can be interpreted. And what, what so makes me wonder? Enough. What makes me wonder is why they're even in that code. I know, right? It's just chat, <laughs> like. I, I guess they're they're trying to prevent people from like putting HTML in there, but it's it's obviously not working. Here, let's try some HTML. Hi. See what happens. Yeah, I'd escape <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Oh, oh like, my god! Dude. Now, well, now hey, chat, at least they're not now, talking about Ebola anymore. Yeah, but now chat is useless. <laughs> Look what you've done. <laughs> Look what you have done to the chat. Oh, I just saw hashtag pregnant dropping fly by. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I, I don't mean. I'm not meaning to sound mean, but even my wife agrees. She's like, I can't hang on to anything. Everything <laughs> everybody falls. Go, everybody go tweet. This Jay's two cents. Hashtag pregnant dropping. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, do it, do it now. everybody should tweet at Miss Jay's two cents and be like, Jay says, stop dropping your phone. Damn it. Oh my, oh my god! And she has notifications turned on because you know she's she's does have the following we do. So her phone would probably nonstop ding for an do hour. Do it, guys! Kill, kill the battery. Just do it. This will be <laughs> ding, so ding, funny. Ding, I just want to see her get a thousand tweets. Hashtag pregnant dropping. Oh she probably won't know the context either. So she'll be like, pregnant dropping. What the hell? No, is she that? knows. She knows tech talks going on. There's been a couple of times that people have like hit her up in the middle of the show. Oh, They're okay. like, did you know your husband said this? She's like, doesn't surprise me. It'd just be funny if she was like pregnant dropping. What's this? She clicks it and it just happens to be like a bunch of pictures of like women giving birth or something standing I don't up. know why, but it, it sounds like when I think pregnant something dropping. tells me if you went to pregnant drop dropping.com, it might re relocate some or I'm redirect doing somewhere. It. Oh, goodness. Pregnantdropping.com. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, page is not available. I think we're good. Somebody oh, okay. can go get pregnantdropping.com. <laughs> what are you going to do with it? Let's see. What about what about just pregnant.com? Ooh, your trusted source for pregnancy. Good to know. Ooh. Oh, All I right. think my I think my wife has been there. She should have actually looked like a legit site. I'm pretty sure that she like never mind. I'm not gonna start. Never mind. I'm gonna stop right there. Oh, here's a good one. Here's what ha hashtag ask tech talk. Look at this, all the symbols. Both of us. Let our let our wives do their own tech talk sometime. Like literally the show is just them just and we have the to show leave would the room. Be them. That would be pretty funny, actually. Do you know that how many of our viewers would be like, what the actual F is going on? I think they'd like it, actually, because all they'd want to do in the chat is ask them questions about <laughs> us. It was girls. Girls. That's what Miss Barnacles gets. Miss Barnacles, like, every every tweet she gets just about is, like, a question about me. So, <laughs> hey, so if you have you a question about me, just ask ask Miss Barnacles. She'll, hey, can, she'll can answer you, it. Can you ask Jerry about the thing of the place? I keep playing with my sight. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I wonder How dare you guys try to fool me? Try to fool to me that. over that Ebola thing. You guys are horrible. Horrible people. What are you I'm doing? Try I'm Stop trying to shoot me, Jay. I'm going to shoot you with my red dot, with my holographic. <laughs> Don't you point your red dot at me, see? Jay. Let's see. See the holographic? Look, you guys can all shoot so me now. Holographic. Wait, wait, this is hard. <laughs> World's I mean, most expensive laser pointer with a gun mount. It's not a laser pointer. Nothing shows up on target. You know that. Look. See? You know that. See? see? There's no there's no dot. If you've played Battlefield, you guys have probably used this site. Look at that. This is what I feel like being on YouTube. I'm always like this in the crosshairs. You're always in the crosshair. Dude, it's the, it's the same for all of us. Like, I'll be honest. Like, it's gotten to the point now where it's like I have a little mirror I check under my car every morning when I get in. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking for that little car bomb? Yeah, I, I basically I peek through the blinds in the morning. And I look around. And if the coast is clear, I run out. I do two somersaults through the bush, and then I like jump through the window of my car. But it's not your bush; it's your neighbor's bush. It's my neighbor's bush, and we're talking about actual <laughs> Wait, bushes. In Jerry, front of house Jerry's climbing through his neighbor's bush. <laughs> oh my goodness! You know, my neighbors actually watch my show, Jay. No, they don't. I know they don't. Your neighbors are probably like, "Oh, you do a YouTube thing? That's that's cool." So, can you move your car, please? You're blocking my drive. Oh, I do have a question though. One of my neighbors came by, and he's a uh, he's a cool guy. His, his name's Jeremy, and he has a mace and chainmail armor, and uh, <laughs> wow, okay. he, he made it himself. He made it literally a link at a time. But he's got a full chainmail armor, and he and I was talking to him today. Would you guys like to see a video of me fixing a red ringed Xbox with a mace and some chainmail armor on? But you must LARP. You must LARP it. I actually I will add that to it. That Jay can get credit for that. I will. You, we'll you have to. It. You have to do it in like old English and everything. 
Oh, what if we used them as shields? What if what if we like riveted on like things so we could put them over our arms like shields and we just beat on each other with swords and maces using them as shields? That would be awesome. This video is gonna be epic. I've never LARPed, I, I so this that would be new for me. <laughs> Groot approves! I am Groot. <laughs> Who is that guy? Oh, he's from uh really? You didn't really? see Guardians of the Galaxy? No. He's Groot. He looks like a tree. He's Groot. Vin, Vin Diesel voiced him, and he literally says like like three words through the entire movie. It's awesome. Oh, that's perfect for Vin he Diesel. Just says, he just says it with different emotions. He's like, they oh, only gave Vin Diesel Groot. enough lines that he could memorize. <laughs> oh, <I hope. laughs> hey, care, careful, Miss Barnacles loves. Older. Yeah, so yeah. Miss J was also very. She had a poster of him up above her above her bed when we were dating stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you that was nice to live up to that. You're, you're, you're sitting there doing your job. You're like, yeah. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Can we take that off the wall? Sure, no, we'll no, put no, it on the ceiling. Think, even worse, you're trying to make maintain eye contact with her and her neck's arch back just looking at the poster the whole time. <laughs> and next day I know I have a five-year-old. There you go. There you go. That's how babies are made, folks. Vin Diesel posters. Hip, 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 hypothetical pizza says, you've never LARPed? What a loser. <laughs> Somebody hashtag <laughs> talk nerdy to me. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh my this god, is, this, this is gotten weird. It's weird having the chat all leggy. I thought Jay. there was one more topic we were going to talk about. Oh, we talk about Gabe getting threatened by some some guy. It was in the chat. Ruined his life. It was uh, in the chat. Um, and you're in the in our see, Skype window. Yep, we talked about some soldering on the Rams. Oh, did you see that Sacha's uh, income is expected to be eighty-four million this first year? Oh, really? Yeah, eighty-four million. Yeah, it's easy to pay him eighty-four million dollars when you fire everybody there, and apparently, uh, well, I shouldn't say fired, laid off. There is a difference, folks. Um, yeah, f laid off. You just get a little money on the way out. A, a, a little, a little birdie told me too that there may be a third round coming soon of layoffs. I believe it. What game are they want to buy this time? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, Minecraft <laughs> tapped them out. I heard they have their eye on Tetris. Ooh, that sounds new and exciting. Yeah. Uh, I guess that was all the topics that we really had at the moment. Oh, my God. We just burned through our topics. Does that mean we got to, like, talk to people now? Oh, looks like we're going to have to do hashtag Ask Tech Talk. Oh, I need, like, damn. a little jingle for that, too. Like, it's time for Ask Tech Talk. <laughs> 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 Tech Talk. <laughs> <laughs> a little transition. <laughs> transition. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It'd be like the guy who's the guy that does the intro. Where it's like skilly be up, bah, 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 that's, like that's that's Review Tech USA. He actually I, just DM'd me, <laughs> like right now. Right oh, now, as you said that, his DM came. Will in. you please DM him back and just say Barnic Barnacles is fangirling over your intro? Hold on, I'm doing. He it actually now. gets a free shout out on Tech Talk because his intro is so fucking hilarious. He's a he's another one of those tech channels that really blew up. With an intro like that, how can you lose? Like, skinny bop, 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 boom! And it's like horribly pixelated pic picture. I know, it's like, it looked like it was edited, like, and, and just using Premiere and, like, cutting and moving things around. It was awesome, though. It's like, sometimes, sometimes shittier things are better, and it, like, adds to their value that they're shitty. It's like cartoons and stuff that you watch. Like, Adult Swim. I watch Squid Billies. If you guys haven't watched Squid Billies... Robot it's, Chicken. It's an... It, robot Chicken, too, but uh, I think Robot Chicken's actually incredibly well done, but... uh but Squidbillies looks like some guy literally jots the entire episode down on a napkin while he's eating a donut in a coffee shop. I mean, it's bad, but it's so bad it's good. That's how that's how most TV shows are made, though, on on a napkin somewhere, and then they go into the writers' get room, and then they kind of like, all right, here's the scenario, go. What are we gonna do? What's our jokes? Let's see here. Oh, here. Uh, let's see. Cameron uh, Lowry says. Jerry, do you like your NVIDIA Shield? Yeah, I like my NVIDIA Shield, but I don't use it as a gaming platform. I use it to fly my quadcopter. So that now means the total number of people who like the NVIDIA Shield is up to four. About four. And yeah. you and Linus make up Still two. Still more than Wii U, though. Still Wii, Wii U's like three. Well, I don't know. Until Mario Kart 8 came out. Now people have a reason to play Wii U. Yep. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Chun Him Kai. Did I say that right? Chun Him Kai says, Did you guys see the new Avengers Age of Ultron trailer? I've seen a lot of plugs on it, but I haven't watched it yet. I saw the trailer, and I don't know anything about the storyline at all, so I was I was incredibly confused about it. Oh, Panos GR44 apparently wants to be banned by... 
Bye. See, see you later. later. See you until after the show, anyway. People don't realize bands only work during the duration of the show. But you know what cracks me <laughs> up when you ban somebody for being a real asshole? I always click on them. Like, when you ban them, I always click on them and then go to my thing and then block them off my channel and then ban them from my channel. <laughs> Jeez, you go, like, all out. I go you do, all out. Well, depends. Like, you do, fans. like, whack-a-mole. If they, get, if they get a ban for just being annoying, that's one thing. But if they just come in the channel and are like, fuck you, kill yourself, die, 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 fat, so fat, so fat, so then I'm like, all right, well, you obviously don't like anything we do, so I'm going to go ahead and save you the asshole. Jay, are you getting the Nexus 9? No, to be honest, the Nexus 7 still does nothing but sit on my camera. It's I have two Nexus 7s, and they both do the same thing. They're they're just camera fodder. Jay just had an oh shit face. Yeah, because Maha Keeley, I think it was, told me to turn around and look behind me. I was afraid for a moment. Last time that happened, my wife scared me while I was playing Slender. Oh, that's not a good time to get scared. I was live streaming, and she walked in behind me and tapped on my shoulder right as he was chasing me. The timing could have been more perfect. Okay, so Kyoto Kyoto man, whatever it says talk about the three two two Dota two scandal. Do you even know what that is? Three two two Dota two scandal. No, I have no idea what that means. Sorry, I know what guys. Dota is, but I don't know about a scandal. He said, Andrew Ravencroft says, bringeth the hammer. All right, do we play tabletop games? You know, what, you know what tabletop games I really enjoy are like those interactive DVD games, like um, Nightmare and games like that, like those horror I've tabletop games. I've never played one of those. They're fun because they, you have to interact with the with the DVD, and it's usually a timer. And if you've never played Nightmare, it's it's or Atmosphere. These are old school games. Like, I think th originally they were on tape. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, they're oh, a lot that of fun. Sucks. We should have played one while I was down there. That would have been cool. Jennifer won't play games with me. Because I'm highly competitive. Can't get old Jen to play with the joystick, huh? I'm highly competitive. <laughs> oh no, she she there's a that's a different game entirely. See, that's what I like. That's what I like is I'm not the competitive one. Miss Barnacles is. Really? She's oh my god! You should see her play Mario Brothers. She she rarely plays video games because of how pissed and animated she gets. Like think twelve year old boy throwing his Nintendo con car controller against the wall. You know, mm -hmm. she's like that. She'll play Mario Brothers like on the Wii U. She's playing. She's just the whole time. She's like. <laughs> and she'll do that the entire time that she dies. She's like, no! It's it's actually pretty fun to watch. She's taller than you, too. She'd be like, don't beat me or I'll smash you! I lock myself in the panic room when she's playing Mario Brothers. Um, Tevin... Oh, crap, it scrolled away. Come back. Just so you guys know, we're not taking any more Ebola questions, so do not flood Ask Tech Talk with Ebola questions. Or Parliament uh. shooting questions. Me and Jay have the same stance on that. Shooting people's fucked up. It shouldn't happen. It's horrible. Yep, we live in America and we still like our guns. And if you don't do, like us, so, I'm sorry. Yes. Um, yeah. God, somebody said something I wanted to respond to, but it scrolled away so fast now I can't find it. That's the terrible thing about this built-in chat. Somebody said, oh, here, uh, Nicholas uh, Runhe said, would you go to Mars? Yes, if NASA would build a rock enough big enough to get me there. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 but wouldn't you want to include the clause that they have to also have a rocket that comes back? To be honest, like by the time I got to Mars, I'd just be like, well, I, I've done everything interesting in life. I'm done. Just I can me. just die. <laughs> yeah. Take off the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I hear, I hear there's supposed to be a, a tiny bit of atmosphere there. Um, somebody, had, somebody, as a scroll, the chat went by, said that I guess that had something to do with the Pornhub sponsoring of a Dota team. You porn know, you, porn, you know. Oh, you know, no, I don't know Pornhub. No, what, porn, it's, Pornhub it's, apparently it's has started Pornhub. sponsoring like um, some like professional gaming uh, circuit teams, as well as like some YouTube channels. Ooh, sponsored by Pornhub. Hmm. Yeah, interesting, right? Yeah, Ms. Barnacles might not approve of that, but I'll I'll run a buyer. Richard Richard Crow says Linus and Luke are doing an oil cooled P an oil cooled PC. Woohoo! If they're talking about mineral oil dipped PC. What I find incredibly funny about that, if that's the case, is Linus told a story about when Luke applied for Linus Media Group. Um, the thing on his application or resume or whatever that got his yeah. attention was he was like, I built a min uh, an oil-dipped PC or an oil mineral-cooled PC. And they're like, what? And they just kind of had to see it. And Linus gave him a bunch of, like, just kind of screwing around them, but giving him a lot of shit. Like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? So if they're doing that now, I find that kind of funny in a way. Okay, so people are Dexter Mall. Jerry, how's the one plus one? Okay, you're gonna have to go back to about the first fifteen minutes of the video during the replay, sir. <laughs> yeah, I, I already covered it. Already okay. covered it. Okay, so Nocturne Kitty, she's filling us in on the three two two. Three two two involves losing a don't scroll away, Kitty. Uh, three two two involves <laughs> losing a game intentionally while placing bets in order to capitalize off the match fixing. So it's like sandbagging. 
Oh, okay. Sandbagging games. That's that happens in happens every sport. You think? Yeah. It happens in every sport and every game, though. That's. I guess the difference is how obvious you make it. I agree. Um, people keep asking us, or maybe it's just one guy asking us over and over how we feel about the 5K new Mac Pro. I, I don't. I'm care. gonna be honest that or iMac, sorry, it, iMac. It, it gives it gives me a slight nerd boner, and Does the reason it? why is just because you you got to just realize the resolution of that screen and the size is just phenomenal. Like I'm gonna I saw give the you overlay where they're like, "This is 1080p, this is 4K," and it's like even with 4K, you still have room to put like you, you could do a 4K preview and Adobe Premiere and still have all your shit around it. Like okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna give some very insider knowledge here. You guys ready? Oh wait, I, I gotta get really close for this. Are you ready? Wait, 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 hold on. Yes. Tell five, me. Five K is bigger than four K. <gasps> Whoa! Uh, do not tell anybody. Yeah. Every but what pisses me off is Apple integrates it with their shitty computer instead of just selling it as like a Thunderbolt display that we could adapt to. Right? PCs. Like their cinema display? Yeah, it's like well the cinema display you could do. The cinema display you could put on oh actually you couldn't once it was Thunderbolt, huh? Yeah. You couldn't, that's right. But I remember when the first generation 30-inch cinema display was DVI, so you could still use it with other computers, and they're like, oh, we're going to make it all proprietary. Now they're like, we're just going to glue the computer to it, so you have to buy our computer. It yep. just sucks because it's like, I, I'll be honest, I would love to have three 5K displays. I don't know what graphics horsepower in the world would drive those, but I still would want it. It's just badass. Uh, Cyber Warrior 200 says, what exactly is 4K? It's the resolution. It's, it's nice. just the resolution of the monitor. Nice. Drew, <laughs> Drew Walden says, Pornhub would totally send you graphics card. Hashtag 980 tits edition. <laughs> yep. Notice yep. how this is all coming full circle and tying together, folks? Yeah, this isn't planned. Uh, that is weird, though. Like, porn sites are sponsoring gamers. Like, how do yeah. they, but, but the But the sponsor them, that implies that they're getting something back. So are the game teams like, Pornhub, jerk it. Like, oh, no. I, like, the Pornhub doing? logo is all over their gaming jerseys. Oh, is it really? Yeah, yeah. There was there were some photos that showed like their pro their promotional team pictures. How fun would that be when you show up? You're you're, you're a 16 year old kid on a gaming team. I'm you're pretty sure it's an 18 <laughs> and over just, older team. I'm just playing, but that would be pretty funny. Just like, hey, look at my cool shirt. Yeah, look, I made the porn rub. What's that? Uh, that would be weird walking into a gaming convention though with your shirt on that says porn up. <laughs> like, yeah, and if gaming didn't already get a bad name, bad enough name as it is. That'd be awesome. You, you you have a gaming team that's sponsored by like Pornhub, Jack Daniels, <laughs> like Marlboro, <laughs> like that's Bushmaster. Bushmaster's the only one that says. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my god, dude, that's just that's weird. That just that seems seems like there's a lot of stuff going on nowadays with companies buying companies that don't make sense, people sponsoring people that don't make sense. I'm wondering like. It makes being a parent really scary. Yeah, is it just the shock factor of it all? I mean, like, I'm just trying to figure out how they would benefit. Well, uh, what am I talking about? Gamers are always looking at porn when they're not gaming. That's, like, the only other thing they do, And right? the really good ones are looking at porn while they're gaming. That's actually true of Multimon, right? I mean, if you're not using <laughs> surround and you're streaming, you got a why whole other monitor. Why do you think you have all that monitor space, Jerry? <laughs> I mean, these little 24 inches, they're not enough. It's not big enough. So you can't blame me for that. You can't. Hey, the can't reason claim. these things are forty six inches because I did some measurements and I found out that ninety percent <laughs> of porn is filmed at a distance where it becomes life size on the forty six inch screen. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you don't want that. <laughs> you don't want that. I, I wouldn't want that at four K. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> You're like, man, I can see every one of those syringe injection sites. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Look at the, the track marks. I can almost touch them. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, See, and then, and then Mahakili over here saying porn in 5K equals God. I don't know. Something tells me that's a little too lifelike. The problem is most of the porn on the internet is like filmed. Like 1080p is the best you can really help for. I know <laughs> Guys, here comes Jerry's professional oh, oh, knowledge. My professional Go, Jerry. Knowledge. Go. Hey, I, hey, hey, I was 14-year-old once too, okay? Or, or I mean 18. 18. Still are. Still Wait, well, are. I said I was 18 when I clicked the button, so I don't remember what age I was, but... <laughs> Anyways, I couldn't drive. No. But <laughs> so, so in in a nutshell, if you think about it, everything online streams. And notice I'm saying everything, not just porn. Now I'm trying to dig myself out slowly here. Um, no, no, this is the show. Is the best the you show, can hope for, right? The show is on fire at this point. Just go. 1080p is about the best you can hope for. There is some 4K stuff out there. I'm sure. I wouldn't know, sort of. But anyways, so 1080p is the best you can hope for. So if you had a 5K display, 
Like, everything you watch is going to be, like, this big, and if you blow it up, it's just going to look all horribly interplayed and shit. Because unless it's... Resizing shit never looks right. It never does. Hashtag Jerry Porn Tips. Jerry Porn Tips. I'm going to have to start that now. Let's see. Jerry Porn Tips. So, uh, so I saw the question go by. I don't remember who asked it. If the 4790K is a good CPU for a first gaming computer. Absolutely. It's a great CPU. As long as you're not skimping on, like, a graphics card or something to get that higher-end CPU... You want to have your GPU be strongest part of your computer for a gaming PC. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Turn Kitty puts the lotion on the scanner and gets the hose again. <laughs> Jeez. 4D porn? I don't, I don't I don't know about that. Oh my how god. Did we, how did this turn into porn talk? I don't know, but Dexter Mall just said what the fuck exclamation point question mark. If Dexter is saying what the fuck you've got, I, our show is on fire right now. Yeah, as he's wrapping up the place in plastic. Hit 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 that like button, folks, because uh, yeah, shows like this only happen every single week. <laughs> <laughs> it only happens once a week, guys. You gotta do it now, okay? Oh my god, dude! Now everybody's hashtagging Jerry's porn tips. Oh, here, let's go over to Twitter and see how many of those are on <laughs> okay. my feed. Okay, so the wife just texted me in all bold caps and exclamation points. She says, "I can't help it. It's not on purpose." Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> Apparently, it made its way to her. <laughs> Uh, Drew, Drew Waldron said, Jerry, weren't you offered a job at a porn site after the layoff? I actually was. I was, <laughs> I was offered a job at a, at a streaming porn site. I'm trying to remember what the name of it was. It was like stream something. Stream. Can you say that on, on the show? <laughs> well, I don't see why not. It's a public site. I mean, no, but, but anyways, no, I, they, they needed, they needed an S they needed an S or software developer and test to actually develop like unit tests and stuff. Hashtag site. porn tech talk will stroke even the lightest of keys. <laughs> That's a heck of a, pe- a hashtag. Twice a week, wife tech talk. Oh, no way. Let's see. Uh, hey, Jerry, are there going to be any iRacing videos in the near future? Yes, but here's here's the problem. Here's There should have been iRacing videos already, folks. The reason there are, there isn't is because the person who took my 3D model brackets for the tra- transducers, because that was going to be my next video, uh, he took them. He actually made them. They're all milled out. He sent me pictures of the completed brackets. They are absolutely gorgeous. They're only one year in the making. Yep, pretty much. And, and he apologized for it taking for so long. But here's where things went wrong is he had to go into the hospital for emergency surgery. He got out and messaged me a week later. And he said, oh, man, I'm really, really sorry. I went in surgery. I'm having a lot of problems right now. I'm getting it worked out. He's like, hey, is it okay if I mail these out to you tomorrow? I was like, sure, no problem. You know, hey, I'm really, really sorry about what's going on. I haven't heard from him in two weeks. And I've sent him about 10 emails. Hmm. So I'm really worried that like something bad happened or he's in the hospital or especially if he, especially if for the last six months or whatever he's been really you know communicative. Oh, and he's been the th- yeah the email thread I have with him Communi- is, like, communicative like, yeah, or whatever communicative, communicative yeah communicative. But but basically he just dropped off the earth and so I'm waiting to get an email response from him. So I'm gonna just go back to playing <laughs> iRacing without the transducers. <laughs> what are you looking at? Somebody's making an Illuminati joke. They're like, why does J Frame have so many triangles? There's a triangle on the mic, there's a triangle on the tripod, triangle on the light, tri- <laughs> triangle down there, triangle in my neck. Whoa, somebody's got OCD. <laughs> <laughs> no, it makes perfect sense. The Illuminati is totally confirmed right now. Uh, Peter Brown, any new info to share on your new in-ear monitors? Yes, I couldn't find the extension cable. That's why I'm not using them right now, but that's all I have to report. Dexter Mall wants to know what we think of Christian Bale as the new Steve Jobs in the next Steve Jobs movie. You know, I read that article. I read the article today, and I don't see it. I don't see it either. I don't see Christian Bale playing Steve Jobs. We've got to do the iPhone 7. Yeah. You will give me the Mac. Where were all the iPhones going? I can see oh, that's wow. terrible. Hashtag Jerry Porn Tips is going viral. That's there awesome. you go. It's that's now trending. Top that's 10. A, that's a good tag. Yeah, let's let's trend that one, guys. Let's not trend the life tips. Let's trend the porn tips. That's what we'll do. How about the picture in picture monitors? Those are kind of neat. I did I did look at that. That's kind of kind of neat. Picture in picture monitor. Yeah, the um I th- I think I remember exactly which panel it is, but you could actually have two displays or two uh Paul Paul's hardware did a video of it. It's one of the Monoprice okay. 4K monitors. Um, and you ha- has a bunch of displays, and you can do picture in picture. So on your 4K panel, this 30 inch 4K yeah. panel, you could have two computers plugged into the same monitor and have the monitor split between both of them, have two smaller displays. That's actually really cool. It is neat if you were just wanting to have like, hooked up to like a server or something, and just kind of log into your server for a minute or or a second PC, a streaming PC, something like that. So does that mean if you? If you had NVIDIA surround, you could actually configure that as four separate displays with two monitors, couldn't you? I don't know. He didn't go that far. Okay. But I, maybe. 
I've been pretty impressed with the mono price display, though. I've got the 27 inch 1440p display. And, you know, uh, the thing I don't like about it is the color seems a little bit off. But as far as like brightness and sharpness, it's it's awesome. It's been a great screen. It's my screen that I look at whenever you guys see me looking up like this. I'm looking at that screen on the ceiling and it, it's been it's been wonderful. So I, no, I don't have can. anything against mono price displays. I kind of feel like playing Battlefield tonight instead of working, but I kind of want to wait. If I want to do the nine eight, the triple nine eighty review, I have to play some games, right? That's true. You can't right. give an honest opinion without pwning some noobs and dropping a couple tea bags. You need to you need to show how the crotch polygons intersect with the mouth polygons of the other characters. It's so realistic, so fantastic. Make sure there's it. no tearing, Jay. No tearing. <laughs> I hate when I tear my tea bag. I hate it when I tear my tea bag. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna be working on tonight though, after I get done with the show. I'm just gonna be sanding and sanding and buffing my little head. Well that's I'm okay. You're stroking you're, my little head. Your until forearm it's muscles are up to the task. I know they are serious. As long as I use the right <laughs> arm, I can go forever. I mean, I, I'm talking about polishing my little head. I mean, my bronze, my bronze. No, Jared. I mean, my, my Jared head. M oh, wants to know if you started your fractal flower pot. I have not yet, but I am dead serious. I will do that. That would be the greatest video ever. Like, take the fractal case out, talk about how some of its features and stuff like that, and then take it out, set it on its side, and then just start shoveling dirt into it. You have to ask yourself, what does fractal gain out of that video? And don't, and, don't, and don't give me that any any publicity is good publicity thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I, that's what I thought. <laughs> what they gain from it is is lols. They get lols. Lols are important. Why don't you do it? Why don't you do, like don't you do a review on the sh in the shower? No one's ever done that before. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag shots fired. No, <laughs> well, uh, well, I've done, I've done videos. Stop starting on the problems, toilet. Jerry. My last video, I was on a toilet, right? I, I was drunk and missing a shoe on a toilet. And I can honestly say I've never done a video of mine that has involved the toilet. Yes, I did actually. My 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 vlog to San Diego. You were all surprised that I did a toilet vlog. Oh, you did vlog while on the toilet? Yeah, remember I went down to Legoland. It was that one. It went with my daughter. It was that one. You copied me, Jay. You copied me. Oh my God, Jay copied me. Don't look at me. Hey, of all the things you could copy, though, that's a goodie. Don't look toilet, at me. Toilet vlogging is awesome. Toilet vlogging? Poop nap. When well, poop remember nap? when I was at your house? Remember when I was at your house and I did the vlog and I was editing it? And you were like, did you vlog in my bathroom? And I was like sitting on your toilet with my camera. <laughs> well, it's funny is you'd go to the bathroom and you'd be gone for like 40 minutes. Well, you know, I had some other things to take care of, too. So, you know. <laughs> You're I like, I was just, I was just working. I don't know. You have these really nice PC gamer magazines, and they just oh, really got me going. You should have been like, you should. I'm surprised you didn't say I had like Nintendo Power magazines in there or something. It would wrap me out as a console fanboy. Jerry's porn tips. We use protection all the time on the internet. Ask Tech Talk. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh my God, these people. Jerry's porn tips. Porn tips. Raise your Fra dong. Fra Fractal Josh just texted me and said that Linus did a review in the shower. Actually, I think I've seen that. And Luke did the. Did he uh, show all? It? Did he show all of his muscles? No, he did the, his muscles? Luke did the ice bucket challenge in the bathtub. Yeah, but like, he did that to conserve water. Good on him. How are you conserving water by getting in the bathtub? Because he was going to take a shower anyway. Oh. This is what happens when Jerry's <laughs> processor sticks for a minute. <laughs> it's like it, 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 it. remember the old sound blaster cards when they do that. The buffer I would do. roll. I do. You're like, hello, how are you? The screen would just be frozen. It would just do it forever until you cycle the power button. I still experience that every time I'm working out my overclocks, by the way. Yep. But the nice thing is, is it only does it for a little while, and then the computer reboots like on its own. Like the BIOS is smart enough to go, oh, yeah, the processor shit the bed. Let's reboot. But the old like 286s and stuff back in the day, you just leave them there all day. And NVIDIA's NVIDIA's video BIOS will recover, usually. But I've noticed recoveries happen a lot less frequently when you're in SLI or surround. Usually a crash is like a hard crash or a uh -oh. hard stop. We, we have a problem. Uh, Paul, uh -oh. Mr. I am apropos, is uh, asking Ask Tech Talk if we plan on doing any gaming tonight. You know what? I was debating doing my three-way graphics card review tonight, but I could, I, could, I could probably push that off to the weekend if you guys want to play. Oh, my God. I got, I got to get some videos shot because I'm gone Saturday. For a birthday thing sunday i'm gonna be hung over as shit monday and tuesday i'm driving rally cars so I <laughs> what need could to get possibly go tears. wrong i know i need well at least hey, i left a, <laughs> i left a hangover cure day in there between driving rally cars okay so it'll be fine um yeah. but no i've got damn i got a lot to do 
I really want I really want to I really want to play but I also really want to make a video and like I said because everyone's being mean I felt less motivated to make a video so I'm leaning a little more towards playing some games yeah hashtag be sensitive to fat reviewers on YouTube because they have souls too hashtag fat youtubers have feelings too that's a, that's too short that apply, but that applies to Boogie, it applies to Wings, you, me. Yeah, just be, be nice to us. We're people too. Just because we're two people in one doesn't make us any... It, makes, it means we're double emotional. Double the weight, double the emotional. Yeah, and I bet if there's a shootout, I know who you're hiding behind. Yeah, there's no way anything would get through you. It's like bo human body armor. You'd probably be okay too. You'd just be like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> be, ow, something bit me. Stop. Oh, mosquitoes, big mosquitoes. <laughs> ow. This, <laughs> owie. No, that's what I always tell somebody when they're like, I'm going to stab you. I'm going to be like, well, I hope you got a blade longer than six inches. Otherwise, you're not going to reach anything of value. I, you know what? That's what I used to. I was watching Cops. I'm not even kidding. I was watching Cops. You know, remember that show that used to be around where, like, when cops were still liked, bad I guess? Boys, bad boys, what you going to do? I'm not oh, yeah. kidding. There was this dude that had to have been 400 pounds that was shot four times. And not a, and it was like in his gut and stuff. And not a single bullet made it through the fat layer. No, the worst the worst video I ever saw was uh He was up and walking around, he yeah. walked to the ambulance. He was like sticking like his finger in there. No, I saw I saw a video of a it was a big guy, you know, he's probably pushing four hundred plus pounds. And he normal, comes out normal on his size, porch American with size. a shotgun. It might have been the same video you're talking about, but he comes out on his porch with a shotgun. The cops are like, put down the gun, but he was high on PCP too, so that, yeah. that played a part in it. But he walks out there with a shotgun. They're like, put the shotgun down, put the shotgun down. And he goes to like point the shotgun, and the cops just all open fire on him. He must have been hit 20 some times. And like, they were, they were they were putting he, oxygen on him and like wheeling him into the ambulance. So like, he well, was still well, alive after well, being shot that many times. They, 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 Jerry, they do that for the cameras. Dude, was that a particular incident? That guy was dead by the time oh, he, he, hit the he was He was moving though. Like, you could see him. He was, he was like, labored breathing i mean who knows they might have had a guy with his arm under the blanket come on make it look good make it look good holy shit they're gonna sue us but uh but no i remember that like i mean they had to shoot him for a while before he finally went down he was just like why are you talking about shooting people this is tech talk not cop talk yeah i know guns aren't very technical jay actually looks a lot smaller than he says guys i'm a fatty i've had plenty of people who've met me in person be like hey jay you're bigger than i thought Jay has an inverted funhouse mirror on his camera. When I, when, I, when I went saw him down there, it's like his camera has some duct tape on it. It's got like a bendy mirror on the front of it. So, <laughs> so it's all like. Well, you notice I, I learned a trick. Check this out. See, watch. So, so look, slimming, fat. <laughs> well, that that's been around as long as cameras slimming. have been around. That, well, I didn't get the memo till like last it's week like, when somebody was like, "Stop putting a camera up your nose." Because my old camera angle is like, "Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to time." I look perfectly normal, don't I? Welcome to Tech Talk, guys. <laughs> oh, that scared me. I'm not going to do that again. What about that angle? <laughs> oh, yeah. no. This is guys, turning into no, that look, drunken live stream. Look, I'm, I'm going to say it again because people always seem to be shocked in any videos where there's like a, I'm standing or it's a full, a full body shot. I'm 295 pounds. What do you expect from me? I, I'm sorry that I have a skinny head and a fat body. You know? Did you say you're 295? I'm 295. Jesus, I'm only three pounds lighter than you. I'm like a four four feet shorter. <laughs> four feet shorter? You're <laughs> underground, dude. I look up to you like when I was on jail. I was like, Jay! Jay! You couldn't look, hear me. You had, I'm like, six foot down. four. I'm 295 pounds. I go to the gym multiple times a week, and I can't help it. I have a skinny head. What can I say? You know, I would rather have a fat head. We should put your head on my body. It would make sense. Somebody did it, didn't they? Oh, no, they put my face on boogies. That was that was a crazy picture. <laughs> I remember that picture. <laughs> Oh my goodness! No, let's do that. Hey, somebody, Photoshop my face on Jay's body. Wait, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Hold, on. Hold on. All right. Get ready. Hold on. Yep. Let's do it. All right. We'll All right. be waiting for that. All right. So yeah, we'll be we waiting for that. we'll be waiting for the Photoshop of of us face and head yep. swapped or whatever. And feel and, and feel free to make my eyes all bloodshot and put a meth lab behind us. <laughs> Remember, I used to always do that to you, Jake. I you'd can't feel help like really it. Tired and bloodshot eyes. I go and through. Yeah, out. tired. That's what people say. I am. Yeah. No, I had. I have to use eye drops before every video. I use eye drops before this stream. That's why they look normal, right? Do eye drops really help? I should try them because I, I do get dry eyes. Here's, a, here's the problem with I have chronic dry eye, and the problem is once you start using eye drops for chronic dry eye, you're stuck using drops forever. Oh, so basically, don't do it unless you want to like do it for the rest of your life. All right. Pretty much. Kind of like the Afrin stuff. Sometimes I'll get a cold and they use that Afrin. 
And my doctor's like, don't use that stuff. And I'm like, but oh my God, it makes like even the worst blockage go away and you feel normal in like five seconds. <laughs> Carrie, Carrie T says, slimming cam sucks when you're half bald and fat. <laughs> that sucks, man. It's like the double whammy. If you're half bald, just commit. Just go full bald. Okay, Ni- Nicola bald Eric. Nicola Eric has asked, I don't know how many times now, if you can quack like a duck when doing the Ducky Shine 4 review. I'm assuming he's talking to you. I don't, I don't have a ducky. I've never had a I don't, ducky. I don't have a ducky shine. Grab your ducky. You're the one. Maybe I'll just, just, be, just to be like you really ironic, I'll just do it during my next DOS keyboard fine. review. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a ducky. I need to do some mouse reviews. I got a couple mouse <laughs> mice pi- mouses. I got, a couple, <laughs> I got a couple mice piling up over there. I got a Myonix uh, mouse and I got a Logitech mouse over there. I, I, sound like, I sounded like one of, those, one of those medical commercials. If you have chronic dry eye or if you suffer from... My bro, fibromyalgia. Uh, Scott Kratz said, Jerry, how do I get your chair in the USA? Uh, you buy it. You buy it. <laughs> it's uh, just, I know sh- it well, sucks. Ship- shipping to the US sucks right now. Which sucks uh, because they're only in the UK. But I think I think at some point they will have uh, US distribution. Yes, so ab- after the point. after in January was the target. Yeah. So so as long as long as we got US distribution at some point, that's gonna drive those prices down. You guys will be able to get your cheap chairs. Jay and Jerry, do you think two gigabytes is enough from surround? I think he means two gigabytes is enough for surround, and I'm gonna say no. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go with Jay on that one. My unless, three, you're, unless you're turning everything down on low settings, not using look, really high quality texture packs and stuff. My GTX 780s with the three gigabyte uh, frame buffer would cap out on normal settings. Richard wants mouse pad reviews. Hmm. They'd be very short. Mouse pad like, reviews? Yeah. Like I, d- I did a couple. Like, oh, I did oh. a couple, but what I did what it, usually what I do is I couple it with a matching brand mouse so that it's kind of a double whammy, you know? I'm using an EVGA mouse on a Corsair mouse pad. Oh, I'm so I'm so evil. Mr. Ploxygen says, Jay, a skunk works a dual pump. What are the fittings? Are there any soft tubing? Is it 900 needed for water cooling? Is the Etho Primo better? OMG. Oh. Wow. Get Too all your many questions. questions. Jeez. Yes, skunk work is a dual pump, but it's also a dual loop. What are the fittings? Lots of them. Is there any tu- soft tubing? Yes, behind the motherboard <laughs> tray and in the bottom. Is the 900 good for water cool- 900D good for water cooling? It's decent, but it's not my favorite case. Is the Ethos Primo better? From what I hear, yes, I've never reviewed an Ethos Primo case. Oh my gosh, this is funny. Somebody's like, somebody's like life-changing information. Just search for Oculus Rift porn. <laughs> <laughs> You're all dodging and ducking. Hey, Oculus Rift porn, <laughs> the only porn you can watch laying next to your wife and she'll have no idea what's going on. Well, mostly no idea. Dexter Maul wants to know why there's wife emojis in chat. He's mad. Why are you mad, Dexter? Calm down. Go Jerry J, can you please tell me what is the best in-ear earphones for under 500? That's You have to go to Jerry for that one. I've only reviewed two pairs of in-ear anythings, and one of them I think was like a hundred, hundred bucks or something. Another one was like a thousand dollars. So <laughs> I guess there's only one answer after that question. La- La- Larry Bennett saying Jay and Jerry should take the night off and go have fun with Battlefield Four with Paul. Go shoot faces. I don't think Jerry's going to do it, guys. <laughs> oh, look, he's using that stupid reverse psychology <laughs> shit on me again. He does this every once in a while. It's not reverse when you know it's happening. I'll tell you what. I can play for an hour. If you can, if you can help me stick to an hour and not go until midnight, I will do it for an hour. The only way you could do it and make it stick to an hour is if you promise not to try and stream. Deal. No streaming. I'll be I, I'm not. Are you streaming? I, I, no, I told you I can't. Paul can stream. What's up, Paul stream? Paul stream. Paul stream is over. But he can stream and we'll join his game. But but Paul has a very set schedule. He doesn't do off set, off schedule streaming. That is not Paul's way. Okay, we need a fourth person who can you see, stream. You see, Jerry, Paul, I am apropos, has something you and I have never established or been able to stick to, and that is called a schedule. Schedule? What is a schedule? Well, a schedule is apparently when you do certain somethings on certain days at certain times, and there's no variance or fluctuation at all in those days and times. So when people want to know when to see you, they know Wednesdays from 6 to 8. Wednesday through Sunday, Paul I'm apropos is live streaming. So look at that little plug I gave the guy. What a nice That's, guy. He, he's a nice guy. We I all love, love Paul. Paul. Paul's a good guy. but Paul wouldn't I, hurt a fly. In fact, Paul would be like, aw. If he saw a fly, he'd be like, give me a little fly. Give he'd me like little. massage it and feed it dinner and stuff. <laughs> he's he's like, it's on his hands. Like, you're free. You're Paul's, free. Paul's good people. <laughs> I love hey, Paul. New, new hashtag. Fat people are bulletproof. I like that one. Hashtag I've said that. I have said. I have that's said. Yours. No, I that's have, what I'm saying. They chose yours over mine because mine was too damn long. 
No, I used to say that like when I was 500 pounds. When people used to make fun of me, I was like, yeah, but are you bulletproof? <laughs> but Jay, now you're famous, so people unless, hashtag that shit, dude. Unless you're going to stab me with like Excalibur, dude, you're not getting to the organs. What's DSR? Somebody said to talk about DSR. It's the it's the new scaling mechanism inside of uh, NVIDIA's drivers where you can actually run 4K content on 1080p panel and get 4K worth of resolution. Uh, mm -hmm. Run that by me again? How is that, how is that possible? Magic. So, so okay, let me get this straight. So, what does it show, like, one quadrant of the 4K at a time, and you got to piece it together with your brain? Like, what? That's no, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. It takes the amount of pixels that would be in 4K and downsizes it to 1080p, but it's it's as sharp as, as 4K based on, like, a software sampling. It's really interesting. Weird. I haven't played around with it too much for a couple of reasons. One, my 970 cannot run 4K resolution by itself at a playable frame rate. And DSR is disabled on surround setups. Oh, decision's been made, dude. I'm Apropro said he will stream it tonight if I both me and you actually play. I saw that. So He's how many people break his schedule? So how many people are going to come and watch the stream and make me not feel bad for making a video? Here, even gonna, though, I'm even though I'm, even though I'm mad at YouTube right now. Well, I'm, I'm going to straw poll this right now. So, so I'm opening up straw poll. The question is. Will you come watch us stream on Twitch TV? Oh, where was I going with this? Wait, uh, I need to rephrase big, this better. Big, big South Production says, so cops could save money on body armor by eating a bunch of junk food? No, they save money by putting a fat person in front of them. <laughs> uh, operation Get Behind the Fatty. <laughs> 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 Want, here, here, what's this? Want to see Jay and Jerry stream Vidya? Vidya, I'm going to oh, put crap. Vidya games tonight with Paul. Uh, damn Instead it. of making videos for you guys. Um, yeah. Yes, no, my cat's breath smells like cat food. Okay. But, I'm, but you guys have to understand, though, before I can start that, I have to put my kid to bed. Yes, and I have to go put my kid to bed, too, and... And do things to my wife, and but that takes like I don't know ten minutes tops. Okay, uh, Jer what Jerry really means is it will take him forty five minutes, and he might come back. He's done this to me before. Hey, Jay, I'm gonna go plow the wife. I'll be back in ten minutes, and then I don't hear from you for three days. Oh, seriously, I went through all that effort to create the straw poll, and it won't even let me post it. What? Why? Too long. Hold on, or let, me take, let me take out HTTP. It thinks I'm doing things and stuff. There. Okay, hold on. I gotta. It doesn't like the slash, so we'll just there do that. If you oh, guys, right. if if you guys want to come and watch, damn it! Here, hopefully I'll, people can 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 resolve that URL that there needs to be a slash in there. We'll see if they can get that. We'll see. All right, I'm okay. watching it right now. So they're gonna have to they're gonna have to go watch. We have to give we have to give Paul a nice a nice audience there. Oh wow! First vote is my cat's breath smells like cat food. <laughs> you love putting that in there. I do, I do, and it screws up every one it of my. It does. Too. It screws it all up. I'm like, but now you don't have a real. All right, so we got a yes and a no, and yes, 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 still only one no. All right, we're, we're, we're curious in here. I'll give you guys the, so you guys can see your live results come in here. Here they go. Is it kind of I'm kind of curious. The people who said no, why did you say no? Is it because you're like, no, I want your videos. I demand that you play, do make videos. They want videos, but the yeses are killing them so far. We're up to 12 yeses. All right, guys, keep those votes coming in. Well, that, hey, that means people are able to, like, resolve, figure out the URL shenanigans. Whoa. Eh. She <laughs> aimed the gun. All right. So here we are. Okay, we're in the lead. Yes is in the lead with 32 votes and 68% of the votes. There are two no's still. Only two no's. Apparently 17 people have cats with breath like cat food. And we still, oh, the no's got another one. Oh my gosh, somebody doesn't want to play a game. But it's okay, we're up to 49, 50, 51, 50, 53, 54, 55, 55, 6, 50, 55. We're at 55 yeses. 55 yeses. That's 69% of the vote, which is a good number. What? You, sir, will never be a racehorse announcer. Why not? That was pretty good. <laughs> I had no idea what was happening. I, I thought that's what you do. Okay, auctioneer maybe. No, just kidding. <laughs> All right, so we got seventy votes for yes. We've got twenty-two votes for cat's breast smells like cat food, which is also a yes. That was a secret yes. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. We've only got seven no's. So the vast majority of the people so far definitely want to see us game. How many no's? Because they haven't seen us game in forever. How many no's? Uh, only so hold on seven. And how seven many? How votes. many yeses? Uh, eighty-two. Eighty-three. <laughs> So yeah, eighty-five. I would right, say yeah. that's a I would say that's a landslide. 
Yeah, it's it's definitely landsliding. Be, before direction. okay, before I play, there's two things I have to do. I have to at least say hi to the wife. I've not seen her yet today. Yep. Put put the kid to bed, and I'm gonna be hopping on the phone with Review Tech uh, USA for a moment. So, so, what do you think is a realistic time? Like eight o'clock, hour and a half? Oh no, sorry, nine that, o'clock. That. Mm, sorry, my math was off. I don't know. Is nine o'clock gonna work for you? That's gonna put you right in the middle of when you'd be making a video, unless you're just gonna do it all night. No, no, I'm literally saying that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ditch the video tonight. <gasps> but. I've got, I know, I know everybody really wants this video, but hey, for the record, it wasn't going to go out tonight anyways, I'll, because I still got a lot more work to do on it, but don't worry, tomorrow, tomorrow's Friday, people like Friday. <clears throat> okay, and can I ask a question to my, to my audience, Jerry, can I ask? Eh, okay, yeah, I'll allow it. To the people who are interested in, like, um, sports shooting and stuff like that, do you guys want to see a video put up on the vlog channel of Prototype and I building my AR tomorrow? If, as long as the freaking handguard shows up apparently the handguard i chose which is supposed to be here earlier this week has not showed up to the to the shop yet i'm like y'all better get that handguard in i'm picking up my lower tomorrow if you don't i'm gonna go all confederate on you if you guys want to see if you guys want to see the a video of prototype and i building the ar i'll put it up on the vlog channel and if you guys are like no guns are bad guns are bad then you don't have to click on it that works yeah, I like how you put that. That was nice. Okay, so I just I just tweeted the poll out, and I'm gonna Facebook the poll too, just so that we can we can get some multiple vectors here. Uh, let's see. Okay, going over. Okay, to the I think it's an overwhelming yes. They want to see the ARB built. That's an overwhelming really? yes. I have seen one no so far. Look at the chat. My uh, my, hold on, I'm doing important things. Okay, hold on here. Uh, okay, wow. Yeah, no, a lot of people are really, really going nuts for it. Well, did you see when I when I 3D printed the AR lower? It's like it did really bad for a little while, but then it took off. It's over 200,000 view video and still still going strong. Andrew Ravenscroft said, Jay, as a Southerner, I'm deeply offended, but he spelled offended wrong. So I'm offended at the way he spelled offended. Nice. All right, so we're up to 193 votes so far, 147 of which are yeses. How many no's? In Facebook, we only got 13 no's. So. I'm kind of curious as to what the reason for saying no is, though. They probably just don't like games. There's some people that don't like video games. Like like my That's boss, true. my my old boss hated video games. It didn't matter what it was. Like he stopped playing video games like Pac-Man. I'll, I'll be honest. People ask me all the time, Jay, why the hell do you have a ten thousand dollar computer and you and never play games? Do you guys know what the game is for me, Jerry? What is the game for me? Building a computer and benchmarking it. That is my game. That is my hobby. Not so much playing the games on it, but building a computer that can do amazing things, get ranked in the top eighteen in the world. And don't play games on it. <laughs> it sounds so bad when you say it like that, dude. Dude, it's like trailer queening a hot rod, okay? It's like my, that's true. That's exactly true. And for you guys that don't know what trailer queening is, that's building a really <laughs> I, nice car and I literally don't. only driving it to show every once in a while. It might get dirt in its wheels. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, I know people like that, too. I know somebody who has a... Uh, oh, God, what is it? It's like a really, really old Ford... It's all pimped out, massive chrome, custom interior, has like all the aftermarket shit inside to make it all modern, modernized. Mm -hmm. And it's like he literally drives it on only like two sunny days a year to like work and that and that's it. My camera is not only flickering now, or the lines, it's like full on dancing now, huh? The one that it you is. see? Yep. Yeah, it's like yeah, I'm surprised they haven't had a seizure yet. Come on. <laughs> all right, guys, people that ask everyone said yes, but then they're like, what game? Uh, it would be Battlefield. That's the only game we all have in common. My, my Little Ponies, Magical Adventures. What? You were you following me when Coconut Monkey and I played Hello Kitty Island Adventure? No. We live streamed no, it awesome. and multiplayed it. <laughs> I bet it, that was popular. We got lost. It was hard. <laughs> all right, so we're at 206 votes for yes and 18 votes for no. So it it is landslide 74. Yeah. And 19, surprisingly, 53 votes for my cat's breath smells like cat food. The wife said she got at least 20 messages telling her to stop dropping her phone. Dude, I love this. The, the live streaming stuff's fun. It is fun. It is a lot of fun. All right, guys. Well, we're so here, 732, uh, so let's let's wrap this yes. up. Oh, sorry, Jay. I think Jay was just about to say that. No, go ahead. Take it away, you, Jay. You got a little lower to the lower. All right, I'm going to do it. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching the stream tonight. We will be over on I Am Apropos stream. Just watch Jay's twitter or my twitter to see the link and we should be playing approximately at 9 p.m pacific standard time which is about an hour and a half from now i got enough time to make a video 
Andy's got enough time to make a video, and I got enough time to go put my kid to sleep and try to make another one. No, I'm just no. kidding. So, all right, guys, it has been fun. Roll that outro. But I wanted to say something. Oh, sorry, sorry. Jay, okay, say what you're going to say. My, my, my goal at some point this weekend is to do – there's there's three topics I have, and I'll do a straw poll on this, guys. Follow the Twitter. Wake, just let Jerry get some rest. He needs it. Okay. Um, <laughs> there's three topics I wanted to do. I did a seminar back in June at the, at the university talking about a passion for technology, and I did a spiel – a seminar about how to prepare for a career in technology and why technology, why I'm passionate about technology. I thought about doing a commentary on that. I haven't done a gameplay commentary and people were like, do commentaries. So I thought about doing that. There's the three way 980 SLI review and compared to the 780. And then there is, um, there was another one I forgot. So apparently it wasn't very important. Oh, I thought about doing a video of like, do you really need hyperthreading? And it was comparisons between hyperthreading on and off and showing real gains of hyperthreading. So of those three, I guess I'm curious as to which uh, which one people would want to see. I'm thinking people want to see the 3980s. That's what I'm 3980s. thinking. 3980s. We'll get it out of the way. Then Skunk Works is old news and nobody will care anymore. We can stop talking about it. We're good to go. All right, guys. But like Jerry said, go and check out I Am Apropos uh, on, both on Twitter and Twitch, 9 o'clock. That's an hour and a half from now. We're going to be playing some Battlefield 4. Jerry is going to be fumbling around trying to get his game to work. And uh, I guess I'll go ahead and roll that outro. You got to sing the outro. Sing it. I don't know the words to the song. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, I, I want to tell you something real quick. I want to tell you something real quick. You, you, know, you know the outro song that I play? What? The uh, the uh, the the musical composer of that song actually watched my channel and then watched one of our tech talks. He's like, "No shit, you use my music," and he was like all fanboying over that. That's oh, cool. Oh, really? That's he's, awesome. He's actually gonna make some music for me to use in some of my videos. Well, it's like Audio Sprite. I almost exclusively use his, his music in all my videos, and he absolutely loves it. Yep. All right, I think we're buffered now. All right, guys, talk to you later.